Hey there, Bromley. So, got your uh, post here. Um, created a little block with a uh, hole in it, and uh, just made an adaptive part to make sure it matched up pretty good. Um, so then we can come back in here and uh, basically turn the adaptivity off on this thing so we can move it around. Otherwise, it's going to be grounded into place. So now the whole thing moves around. Um, the main thing is um, on these two parts, I created a surface here and a surface here. The way I did that, um, if you come into here, just basically draw a sketch and extrude that slot out as a surface. Um, oops. Okay, so if you move that into place and we do constraint transitional uh, to the other side to here. So now that's constrained inside of that, you apply there. So now it basically sticks onto that part, but then we're off on here. So let's use our assemble command and just select the hole so it gets the edge and the center line and to here and hit OK. So now we're locked in. Now your whole thing will rotate around and will stop wherever you need it to go. Um, not sure if that's exactly what you're looking for, but uh, that'll basically get you going as far as uh, from a side view here. So that way you can move the part around. Um, so hopefully that uh, gets you going because then you can come back in here and just turn off the uh, oops, visibility on that and the visibility on that. You can come back here and then your part will stick. So I uh, hope that gets you going and uh, makes a little bit of sense. Um, it's all about using the transitional between surfaces. Uh, sometimes you have to do when you're actually setting um, the selection. You have to right click and say select other. Um, to get the other side, so there's two faces, a face and a face normal, so um, play around with that, see if that gets you going.